Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Good morning. Happy Monday to you. Is everybody excited that it's Monday this morning? I know some of y'all aren't. Some of y'all still don't like Mondays, but hopefully most of you guys are excited that it's Monday. You're excited that you woke up, right? So welcome to this morning's episode of If You Woke Up, You're Winning. My name is Panique Singleton from connectwithpanique.com. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. I'm just going to share this video on my profile page. You know, we're doing these from the fan page from now on. We switched that up last week. So let me just share the video to my other page real quick, and we're going to get this thing going. I hope everybody had an awesome and amazing weekend. You know, I hope you had a productive weekend. For those of you guys that were trying to have a productive weekend, maybe some of you wanted to relax. But anyway, guys, let's get this message started. I know it's Monday, and I know you got things to do, all right? So this morning... I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to talk about this particular product and the, I mean this particular topic and the reason I went back and forth on this topic is because a few weeks ago I did a call on this this same topic pretty much and um, there's this call at noon every Monday and Friday that uh, one of my mentors and good friends Scott Bent does it's a motivational call that he does every Monday and Friday but a couple weeks ago he asked me to fill in and do the call and I talked about this particular topic. So I was like, you know, some of my audience probably got on that call and maybe they heard this information already. But I know some of you guys didn't have a chance to. So, you know, I said, I hate to repeat it for those that did watch it. I mean, that those that did, um, for those that did tune in and listen. But then again, if somebody missed this, I feel like somebody needs this topic. So the good news is if you already heard it, you know, I always say it can't hurt to hear stuff more than once because there might be something you didn't catch the first time. Or for those of you guys who missed it, you know, we're, we're doing this again. Now, if you already heard it, if you don't want to hear it again, you know, the good thing about Facebook Live, there's that little X at the top of the screen and you can just exit right off of the video. But uh, for those of you guys who didn't hear this, I, I want to definitely um, touch on this topic. And this topic is vision. This is a very important topic, ladies and gentlemen, because when you're not clear on your vision, it's hard to go in that direction that you want to go because you don't know where you want to go, right? So if you don't have a vision, if you don't have an idea where you're trying to get to, like if you don't have a destination in mind, it is very hard to go, right? That's just like if I'm driving in a car and I don't know where I'm headed, how do I know which way to get there? I don't even know if I should make a left or a right out of my driveway because I don't know where I'm going. So that's the same thing with life, you know, with your business, with whatever it is that you're trying to do. If you don't have vision for where you're headed, you can't get there. You know, and it needs to be a very specific vision. You can't just say, when you get in your car, you can't just say, I'm going to drive to Georgia. I mean, are you going to Augusta? Are you going to Macon? Are you going to Atlanta? You, you need a specific destination in mind. So you need to have vision for the future. So let's talk about this. I heard this quote, and this is good. Y'all might want to even write this down, or somebody might want to type it in the comments. There's this quote that says, a man without vision is a man without a future. And a man without a future will always return to his past, right? Let me repeat that one more time in case you were trying to write that down. A man without vision is a man without a future, and a man without a future will always return to his past. That's good, isn't it? So my question is, are you letting your past control your present and therefore keep you from your future? right are you doing the things you've always done in the past because you don't have vision for where you're going in the future right many people aren't successful because they can't let go of the past you know they want to keep doing the same things over and over again and it's because it's familiar we all have this tendency to go back to things that are familiar things that we may consider comfortable things that we know right we, when it's something new and unknown, we don't want to go into that un, uncharted territory, right? Because we don't know what's going to happen. So we return to our old ways. We return to our past. We return to the things that we've always done because we know what results we're going to get, even if the results aren't that good. You know, when you join a business, you know, you're like, oh, it's commission based. I don't know what I'm going to earn every week. That's scary. But at your job, you know exactly what you're going to earn. You know that hourly rate. You know how many hours you're going to get, even if it's minimal. Even if you know you're living paycheck to paycheck. Even if you know it's not enough to do what you need to do, you return to that because it's familiar, right? You don't want to go into the future. You don't have a vision for what you could earn for that commission that you could make in that business. You can't see it. So you don't want to go because you don't know what lies ahead. 
but you know what lies in your present or even your past so you return to that you you stay in those old habits and those old ways and, and that really keeps you from growing that really keeps you from having all that you're supposed to have and it keeps you from fulfilling your destiny but the problem is you don't have a vision for what your destiny is you know there's this quote by Jim Rohn and it says if you don't design your own life's plan chances are you'll fall into someone else's plan and guess what they have planned for you not much right so are you gonna fall into somebody else's plan and and go into the future that is that they have planned for you which is probably not much or are you gonna create and plan your own future are you going to create a vision for what you want to happen right what do you want to do in your life what do you what impact do you want to have you know what goals do you want to accomplish because see ladies and gentlemen the definition of vision is a vivid mental image of what the future will or could be right so can you see that image vividly can you see it clearly Another definition says it's the ability to think or plan the future with imagination or wisdom. So you can see it before you see it, ladies and gentlemen. So if you don't have that vision, you can't get there because you don't really even know where you want to go, right? You can't clearly see it. So if you feel like you're not making progress, if you feel like you're constantly going in reverse, you probably are. Because every time you start to move in that direction, you get to the point where I can't see what's up ahead. It's dark up ahead. I, I'm going to turn around. You know, like if you were driving and you came to a tunnel, you're like, I don't know how long this tunnel is. I don't even know if I'm going to make it out the other side. But I know what's back there. So let me just back the car up, do a little three-point turn, and go back in the opposite direction. But really, had you gone through the darkness, had you gone through the tunnel, had you gone forth, you would have gotten out to the other side and your destination was right on the other side. But you didn't plan it out. You didn't use Google Maps ahead of time and know that it's a quick tunnel and then your destination is just ahead. So you turned around, you missed it because you didn't plan it out. You didn't have vision, right? So that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about because that's so important and a lot of reason people aren't successful is because they just, they're not clear on their vision. They don't know really what they want to do. So I'm here to tell you today that you cannot bring your past into your present and expect a different future. It's just not gonna happen, right? And I'll say that one more time, just in case you wanna write that one down. You cannot bring your past into your present and expect a different future. It's just not gonna happen, ladies and gentlemen. So my question is, you know, are you more committed to your past or to your present and your future? And the way to do that is to get a vision. Get clear on what it is you wanna accomplish, ladies and gentlemen, and go for it. Right now, you're not making progress, maybe because you're not clear on really where you want to go. You're just driving around, you know, and this is obviously, this is just an example, but you're just driving around through life and don't know where you're going, which is why you can't get to your destination. Plan it out. Get clear on your vision. Get quiet and think about it. Now, I'm not talking about when you're just riding home and you you rapping all the words to rake it up, right? Yo Gotti and Nicki Minaj cannot help you with this. You need to get quiet. You need to turn the radio off. You need to turn the TV off. And you really need to create a vision for your life if you want things to be different. Because, again, if you don't see a different future, you're just going to return to your familiar past. Which you know what that looks like already. And you know it doesn't look good. You know you deserve more. You know you want more. You know you need more. That's not the place for you, ladies and gentlemen. You got to go forth and move into your future, all right? So create that vision and get moving. So, look, I appreciate you guys joining me this morning. Lynn, good morning. Leroy, good morning. Um, thank you guys for joining. I don't see too many other people on here this morning, but I know they're going to catch the replay. So if you're watching the replay, thank you so much. Um, I appreciate you guys joining in. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and share because somebody else needs to hear this. Somebody else is just spinning their wheels. They don't understand why they're not moving forth, and it's because they, they lack that vision. So they need this message. Go ahead and share this on your page um, if you can think of somebody that can benefit from this info. So I'm going to get out of here. Quick announcement for those of you guys who saw my post about the back to school drive. We are still collecting donations. If anybody wants to donate, it's, it's for kids here in Raleigh, in Raleigh, North Carolina, the southeastern part of Raleigh. You know, we're having a back to school drive. We're just going to bless some kids that may not have things that they need for school. So if you still want to donate to that, you still can. Just send me a message. Um, 
and we can make that happen all right i know i got a couple inboxes about it over the weekend so i just want to make a quick announcement about that all right ladies and gentlemen so again my name is panique singleton thanks for joining me now i want you to get off of facebook and i want you to get out there and be great on purpose today because i know you can do it y'all i believe in you you just have to believe in yourself and make the choice to be great so i want you to get out there and choose greatness on this monday and make sure you have a clear vision and if you don't create that vision today so you can start moving towards your awesome and amazing future all right i'll see you guys tomorrow morning 6 45 a.m eastern standard time y'all have an awesome and amazing monday